This morning, we get to sit down with American actor, film director, producer, musician, and singer Kevin Costner. He's got two Academy Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, and one Emmy Award, among others. And he's the front man of, you guessed it, Kevin Costner and Modern West. Coming to the PRCC in the Brownstone Center Friday, August 26th. You doing all right today? Yeah, I'm good. Congrats. First off, on I saw your daughter got married. How did that feel walking her down the aisle? That was uh, It was uh, natural. It was the right time. She picked carefully. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, all the, all the things you hope to happen for your daughter. I, I feel like, you know, while nothing's perfect, I feel that she's chosen perfectly. Wow. And so now, you know, now it's their turn. Yeah, that's high praise for him, too, I'm sure. Yeah, well, we, we feel lucky about him. So it, it, it works both ways. Did you have any type of interaction where you tried to scare him? No, no, but I, I, I reminded him that I was the first hand, first hands to, that were on my daughter, <laughs> yeah. and that she knows the difference between someone touching her that loves her versus someone else, and that kind of opened his eyes a little bit. Yeah, but that was a while. That was a while ago. Yeah, I can imagine. So, well, right on, Kevin. We're excited to have you come down to the Brownstone Center. It's going to be Friday, August twenty sixth, as part of the Fine Arts Series at PRCC. Kevin Coster in Modern West. Have you been to Southeast Mississippi before? No, I haven't. No. Um, but it's uh, look. It's going <laughs> to. I love playing. I love playing live, and I love playing for people who are standing and drinking and yeah. whatever it is. It's uh, our music was built for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the songs uh, were written for them, so mm-hmm. to speak, about our lives. So it's it's a really it's a it's it's nice to connect with people that have been going to movies all these years and have, have a different experience. Yeah, yeah, and that actually leads me to one of the things I was wondering, because there's so many great songs. Uh, I was listening to the Backyard song, entire song about getting cars in your backyard running to fulfill a NASCAR dream. All the songs are something from your real-life experiences? Well, they, that one was we were, I was making that movie Swing Vote, and Richard yeah. Petty was in it, and uh, so... You know, it just kind of helped inspire the idea of, of, of this this whole culture, um, and that's where that song came from. You know, I mean, we've all seen people with uh, <laughs> cars in their front yard, yeah. <laughs> everybody else, in, and everybody else in the neighborhood just pissed off. Yeah, but it's uh, it's just it's 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 somebody's dream, right? So I'm glad that song hit a note with you. You know, we've got five records. I think one that probably audience hasn't heard of. Uh, uh, would be famous for killing each other, which is a concept record about the Hatfields and McCoys when I made that series. Uh, yeah. All those songs are about my feelings about when that, while the movie was being made. So if you like that kind of music, it's it's pretty good. Famous yeah. for killing each other. So if you're writing the songs from experience, there should be one on the album that says Ashton Kutcher was a pain in the Guardian. No, he was great. <laughs> um, he really was. He, he, he was a... He w- he really worked hard and, mm-hmm. and uh, he was a good screen partner. So he was anything but. So how has music always been a thing for you, or did you just kind of pick it up later on in life? No, it came th- it came through my house early with church. I was raised a Baptist, and, mm. and my grandma was a you know played the piano. My mom was in the choir. Mm. Uh, I was you know I was uh, I took classical piano. I was in musicals, and so music was always a part of my life. So we could have been seeing Kevin Costner, the classical pianist, instead of on the big screen. That could have been a thing. No, see, I got so sick of those songs. I mean, if somebody, my, 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 that's what that's what the teacher was teaching my mom. You know, if, I, if somebody would have let me play a little rock and roll, and, and a girl would have sat next to me, I probably never would have quit. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of why country rock is what y'all go with. Because I was thinking about it. You know, '80s hair metal band Kevin Costner and the Glitter Vest really would have been a cool thing too <laughs> well i don't know that we're i'm not i think we're kind of more of a rock and roll band it's uh that's what we do we play really loud we we play fun and and i'm i'm curious what was the second song that was next to backyard backyard uh it was superman 14 i enjoyed that one yeah. as well yeah superman's fun uh yeah we we have a we, we we pull a lot of we pull from a lot of songs we probably recorded 70 songs now wow. and when it comes to a night set we, we we will make a set out of probably 
25 songs all have a chance of going in. Yeah, um, the latest album, uh, not the one the Hatfields and McCoys, the one that came out in 2013. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Uh, it seemed like it had more of an upbeat feel to it. Was that just because you were in a more upbeat place, or was it just at the time y'all wanted to write something a little more well, uh, the, up-tempo? Well, the four there? records we have are Unseen Truths, yeah. uh, Turn It On, from where I stand, that's the um, one. Yeah, there's really a lot. You, you got to get busy, man. If you're gonna <laughs> listen to some music, yeah, the, I, uh, I got those two down. Famous, from, famous for killing each other, which yeah. is the uh, Hatfield, and then we've got this one that we just finished called "Where the Music Takes You." Now, I, I just don't go out and do radio, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's anybody that comes to concert, you know, they can buy that record. It's a pretty good one. There's a lot of really good ballads. Very proud of that record. Yeah, now you you got me homework to do now. Listen to Angels, that you know, and then uh, there's a couple of songs from where I stand on there. Uh, mm. God, I can't even remember the songs anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, you should you have to listen to Angels. You're, you, I think you'd really, really enjoy that. We're talking to Kevin Costner this morning. So what's the next big thing for you? Well, I got a movie coming out in um, December called Hidden Figures, which is about the space program, about three African American women who who uh, were responsible in a, in a large part to the success of getting John Glenn, you know, you know, out to space and back, mm-hmm. and and uh, it's kind of untold story, which I like. True. Yeah. Um, and so that you know that's that's one, and then I'm I'm trying to do a Calvin movie here in the spring uh, that I want to direct. So still Kevin Costner to be seen for you, not not hiding out anywhere. No, I'm, I'm just living my life. You know, I'm so happy to come play music for people. I, I hope people show up. We're going to really play loud, and I think we'll make a, a memory that's. Uh, one that stays with everyone, myself included. Nothing like playing for people and nothing like playing for people that you kind of know. And we've been knowing each other for 25 years with the movie. So I hope people kind of stop what they're doing, come down and play with us. We're pushing them. We got promos running day and night to get them down there to come see you as well. <laughs> uh, you know, if, if they don't know about it, they had to have been hiding in a hole somewhere or gotten rained away or something. Uh, well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So before we let you sneak off here, we did put a thing up on Facebook, let people send in their questions. Now, uh, first one from Joe, he asked, did you get to keep the boat from Waterworld? <laughs> no, I didn't get to keep that boat. Uh, uh, but I tell you what I did keep. I kept the car from Bull Durham. So oh, you did? Shelby Cobra. Mustang. Right on. That's probably a little more practical, too, for you. Yeah. <laughs> Greg asked what your handicap in golf is. He said he loves Tin Man, and he wanted to know if you're actually an avid golfer. And uh... yeah, I'm not an avid golfer. I like it, but it's never played into my lifestyle. And mm-hmm. Because of that movie, and I played in this one tournament, Pebble Beach, for a few years. I think a lot of people think I play a lot. Yeah. So. I don't. I play <laughs> once, twice a year, seemingly. It's always uh, felt like I take too much time away from my family. So I probably play to a 14, and that's that's about where I sit. That's still respectable, though. And, once uh, or twice a year is not bad. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, there's some of us that we go out every weekend, and we're not even coming close to that. But we say we are. But if you actually came out on the course, not even going to happen. That's right. <laughs> and the last question we had, uh, Brian wanted to know if Tom Petty was actually in The Postman or if he had just had too much to drink that night when he watched it. Yeah, no, you mean like he just showed up on the set or something? Yeah, yeah, like if that was actually <laughs> him or if he just... No, it was, it was Tom. He was great. Just had a lot of fun with him. Kevin, where can fans hook up with you on social media? Is there a good place you like Twitter, Facebook, something like that? I don't Twitter and I don't Facebook. I don't I do not do any... Of, well, I think we got a Facebook. It's Kevin Costner and Modern West, but I honestly don't go on it. I like to put stuff for, out there for people mm-hmm. and... Um, I find that, um, you know, I do that honestly, and, and I just I let whatever is out there speak for itself. I can say uh, if you go to the Kevin Costner, modernwest.com, there's a lot of stuff for you to soak in if you want to get ready for the Kevin Costner show, um, which is going to be August 26th at the Brownstone Center in Poplarville. Kevin Costner and Modern West. I can't thank you enough for calling in and talking to us, Kevin. Thank you very much. Absolutely. You have a great day, and we'll see you in just a couple weeks.